Hi folks, welcome to the Saber Zone. This is a video on the channel, if you're new, that always discusses what you had to say, how you said it. And I will get into one here, and I gotta get my dog out, so I gotta get going. And I'll upload, have these uploading, at least process, I will process them later, but I gotta get on the, I gotta get my dog out. Okay, so let's get right into this. Here's the clip. And Sabres 1970, number 11, says, Like Christmas morning as an adult, look at our, looking at our pipeline. I like Fitzgerald's game on the right side defensively. He plays much bigger than his size. He hits, he will drop the gloves. He has grit, pretty fearless for his size and experience. Yep. This is why I think he can still cut the team this year is he's one guy that's willing to play the whole game. He's willing to play the physical game on that blue line. But, I, I, you know, the thing is, 1970, he is, that blue line is getting so, like, deep that I, it's going to be tough for him to, 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 to get, it's going to be hard for him to get a chance. It will be hard because, you know, unless he uh, replaces Bryson as number seven and we move Bryson, which is very possible because I don't think Bryson's in our long-term plans. I mean, uh, you know, the kid's good and everything, but it's just that, you know, there's no size there. And, um, and like you said, even though uh, Fitzgerald's not the biggest guy, what is he, like 5'11", 6 foot, right? He's right about that, if I'm right. And he's something like 190 pounds. He's not the biggest guy, you know? I'd have to check, but I, I remember, I was like, he's not the biggest guy. But he does play a big man's game. He, he's not scared to get his hands dirty and his face dirty, which I like. I like that about him a lot. And... Uh, some of you guys were calling him Fisticuffs as his nickname, which, yeah, I liked it, you know. It's, um, I, I definitely think Fitzgerald could be in our plans. And if he does step it up, step it up and say, I'm making this team, he'll make this team. He seems to be that type of character. So it wouldn't shock me, wouldn't shock me if he, if he did cut the squad somehow. And uh, we might uh, just have eight defensemen in our... Uh, you know, I've, I've, you've noticed I've put him in the lineup, you know, in our lineup. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we have eight defensemen on the roster once the roster is finalized. I wouldn't be surprised that the next player we get will be a defenseman and not a forward. But I'd like to see the Sabres acquire a big forward too. Um, also, you know, if possible, like a previous video I did talking about Shifley would be a perfect fit in Buffalo. For me, it would be an absolute stud perfect fit in Buffalo. Now with uh, Fitzgerald, look, I think I think he can absolutely make a difference if uh, his head's on and he is just aggressively going after that and saying, you know what, I'm making the NHL. I'm, I'm done with the American Hockey League. <laughs> like maybe, you know, sometimes that's what it takes, right? You need a player to actually go all the way in his mind before he does it physically on the ice. We need it. We need him to step it up if he's going to make it. Because let's face it, you know, I, I get Bryson's good and everything, but he's just, uh, he's just too tiny. He's too tiny. And that isn't going to work. I, I mean, show me a team that uh, one of the powerhouse teams that have a defenseman that tiny on their team. It's, it's, we're, in the, we're in the big era. It's not like, you know, people talk about, oh, this era. you'll hear the same folks that say the same things all the time. We're in the big man's era, right? We're in, but we're also in the transition era. Now, if, and I get a guy, a forward, let's say, like uh, Debrinket, example, well, he's like 5'7", five, 5'8", five, he's right around there, 5'7", I believe. And, but Debrinket puts the puck in the net. And, and you know, uh, you got, if you're a small guy in this league, you better make sure you're producing points if you're going to have a career. You know, and... Um, Bryson doesn't really produce a lot of points. He just doesn't. Yeah, he carries the puck, but by the time he gets to center ice, he's usually... And one thing I'll say about Bryson, you know, he, he has the guts to hit. He does. He, he, he's not scared to hit. He's got like an aggressive side to him. I think he'd be better served as a forward in this league, just how I think, you know, with his skating ability. I think he'd be better as a, a fourth line player, maybe. And by, you know, I, I mean, I, crazier things have happened, guys. I could see like uh, Granado maybe doing that and giving him a chance as a forward and seeing. And I'd be interested to see him as a forward is what I'm saying with his skating ability. As a defenseman, you got to be big and strong and he's not. He's just not. 
And, you know, getting a guy even that's average size, I hate to say it's average size, it's what size I am is 5'11". This guy's average size, Fitzgerald, but he can still play, you know, a big man's game. He's not scared to, like, fight. He's not scared to hit. He's not scared to do any of that stuff. So if we could go that route, yeah, 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 I'd be, I'd be good with it. Maybe throw in Bryson as a fourth liner or something. It's just the way I'm thinking. I, I would like to see him as a forward, what he could do. I think Bryson could score more goals and stuff if he was used as a forward because he has that speedy side to him and uh, he, he can carry the puck. You know, there's things he's good at. But, I don't know, it doesn't serve him right, I think, being a defenseman. I don't know why he chose to be a defenseman in his career. I just don't get it. But I guess some guys love defend, you know, being defensemen. I never <laughs> I had no interest in it when I was playing, not at all. Never. I played it a few times. I didn't like it at all. At all. I'll tell you right now. So that's my thinking on that. If we were to get Fitzgerald in, you know, what could we do with Bryson? You know, we're going to probably have to move him. Probably have to move him eventually, I'm thinking. Unless we become the first team in NHL history that <laughs> starts doing four pairs. Who knows? Stranger things have happened. Hey, okay. it's... Uh, it's, it's something that you worded it, uh, yeah, and, and all, looking at our pipeline, um, he's old enough now he should be an NHL player or not. And that's the thing with a guy like Fitzgerald. Will he be an NHL player or not? He has to make a decision, I think this year, actually. And if, we, if he, he can bring that nastiness into his game and bring it into the Sabres lineup, it's welcome by me, you know? I mean, you're gonna have um, you're gonna have a lot of Sabres fans that are gonna want like Bryson. I get that because he's kind of fun to watch. But guys, Bryson would get killed in the playoffs. I hate to break the news, like just like, but that's the bottom line. He would get killed in the playoffs and crushed by by the size and, and aggression of teams that are going for the Stanley Cup play like come playoff time. This may be regular season, Bryson, we can utilize him for sure. Come playoff time, it'd be different. You know, so we can never have him as a top pair. That's for sure. You know, we can't do that. It's way too small. So just my thoughts, guys. I mean, you know, get the big guys here, get the big bruisers here, and get the guys with aggression and that are tough here and make us nasty to play against here. <laughs> then we're good. All right, that's it. I'll see you folks later on. I'm out of here. I'll get these loaded up to you. And I'll see you guys Saturday on the notes. I, there's no way I could get it yesterday. I just fell asleep, guys, in this heat wave. See you then.